stopped on the side of the road, as you can see, the start of the gravel road behind me. Going to let the tyres down, down to 1.8. Um, I've got my buddy there, Clint, and, and you know, no, I've just stopped for a, for a lift. Um, yeah, the weather's pretty good, not too bad. There we go. Where are you going? Where are you going, my bro? You going that way? That way? We'll go that way. We'll go that way. We'll go that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so we're going to let tyres down. Um, uh, we're going to head in that direction. That goes towards uh, Aethus. That direction, direction goes towards Kakakama. That direction goes to Off Your and that direction goes that way that direction goes that way and that direction goes that way <laughs> so let's go and see if we can find our campsite Guys, well, we have found a, a spot next to a river. I don't often camp in riverbeds. Um, it's something that one should never, ever, ever do. Um, this river's obviously come down in force in the last few days when we've had rain and summer rain. And you can see this wide gorge, and you can see it's actually come right across here. But I know. Looking at our South African weather forecast, if you can trust it, actually weather's not bad. Uh, I know we haven't got any rain coming, so um, we decided we're going to camp out here in the bush. Um, we have got a hot water shower, but that's not of importance because we've got a nice little trickle of steam we can wash off. The good toilet at the back here, the, um, the bush toilet, which you make yourself. Sure. And who knows, I could have just found a diamond, look at that. Look at that, that's as crystal clear as ever. So, yeah, we'll check how it goes. Don't walk too much in the river. Um, let's have a look to see what kind of a pond is up here we can have a little dip in. So a nice little bar. It's still pretty wet grounded, as we are climbing on. Yeah, it's um, not bad, eh? Oh look yeah. Fantastic. Lovely. Not a bad uh, place to camp. You can see the are setting up. Clint's got to put up his little thing. The sun is now setting behind the mountain. And we've got a nice little fire going here. The wind, the little chill factor is picked up in the air. But it is expected for this time of the year. So if you do come out to Cedarburg in March, April, May, always worth bringing a beanie. Um, grow your hair. Like or grow your hair like my friend over there, Clint, and wear short pants and a t-shirt. And this is the other thing you have to bring. It's a GNT. GNT. Absolutely, we've got to have a GNT. So we found this place, it looks very nice, we've got a nice shower there, apparently there's a river down here and there's a few more camps further up, oh, I can hear the water running, absolutely, yeah, yeah, there we go, got a couple of pools that you can swim in. Have a look here, yeah. There are definitely little holes that you can uh, 
paddle in deep enough to have a swim and you can see this water really would come down here pretty hard you can just see by the the way the bank is eroded on either side and especially this side here with its softer soils we are traveling towards sand drift it's now 8 30 in the morning and we're going over the low water crossing uh, areas winter time uh, a lot of the time this area is impassable because the water just gets way too high Um, we've arrived at our little cave um, we're going to be camping absolutely stunning really is it's definitely where we're going to be camping tonight um, and we'll make a plan so yeah that's the whole idea and we'll check it out here it is and yeah, so I think this is where we're gonna we're gonna spend our night for tonight.
uh, you know, we'll be down by, by the, the cave. Got a fireplace going here. It's a really good, lovely place. The rain's coming down on the wind blade, very protected. Time. 